Hey guys and welcome to my channel Gusty's Plants. Today I bring for you guys a tea subscription from Scent Tea. <music> tea is one of my favorite tea subscriptions um, out there, especially because Scent Tea is um, their warehouse or their they're originally here from Southern California, from Los, uh, from Los Angeles. They're actually like a 30 minute drive from my house and um, they carry really nice teas, good for your overall wellness being. And um, so I first heard of Scents Tea because of my brother or through my brother. Um, he found them at a farmer's market near downtown. What happened is that he was going through, um, he was undergoing chemotherapy and he was um, getting his treatment at a LEC USC Medical Center Hospital near downtown and um, one of his visits he um, found the farmers market in by the hospital and so he stopped by Sense Tea. He d purchased the um, Dream of Flowers which I have and it's actually my favorite tea that they carry Dream of Flowers but um so ever since then I've been you know gambling or not gambling I've been um, rumbling through their website and finding out reading more about them and I've came to the conclusion that they're a really nice brand to purchase from and I want to support them and therefore I'm doing this monthly subscription box. Um, so the box carries four different teas um, from their collection and the first month if you decide to subscribe to them they give you an extra bonus tea bag or an extra bonus ounce of tea. So you're, you will be getting five ounces of tea and you so pretty much five different teas from their from their tea collection. So this is my third box um, from them. But I'll, from now on, I'm going to do a monthly basis subscription from Sense Tea um, until I finish. I will cancel the subscription until I finish all of their teas. But anyways, so this month we got four teas. And this is pretty much what you get in the box. So you get a little booklet here that gives you information about the teas that you got for the month. So see, so it gives you information about the teas. I don't want to read that because I don't want to spoil the what's in the box. But let's go ahead and start. I'm gonna go ahead and read the each tea, and then I'm gonna go ahead and sniff it and tell you guys what I think based on the smell. So the first one we got here is the Elena's Blend, right there. This one has ingredients: eucalyptus leaf, peppermint, rosemary, honey bush, cardamom, and cinnamon. This one, if I'm not mistaken, is an actual blend from one of their workers, Elena. And um, so one of their workers actually came to the kitchen and blended her own tea and now I guess it was really good that everybody decided that hey let's make it into a tea and so here it is so cardamom I love peppermint in teas I actually do like I know that a lot of people don't like peppermint because they feel like it might be like tasting gum which is funny but I do like peppermint and rosemary and honey bush so let's go ahead and give it a sniff and see what what I think mmm oh wow so the cardamom kind of cinnamony flavor makes this tea like a oh wow Ooh. it smells really good guys elena's blend um it also gives you steeping time three to five minutes um water temperature oh god it smells so good i cannot wait to try this it, so um it has the eucalyptus leaf the peppermint and the rosemary but what really brings this like as a hugs this together is this cardamom and the cinnamon kind it kind of makes this be more like a warm i kind of want to add sugar to this even though i haven't even made it but i feel i usually like to add a little bit of sugar to my cinnamon teas or like my um cardamom chai lattes or chai boybis so i'm excited to try this i've never had anything like it so this is a very unique blend elena's blend cannot wait to try so let's continue we have three more to go so let's go ahead and see what else we got all right guys so the next one we got here is the organic assam and this one here has just black tea and it's mostly geared towards giving you energy um you guys if you guys follow or if you guys watch my videos in the past my tea talk videos you guys know that um i tried harney and sons assam black tea and i didn't really like it because it wasn't what and I was um i bought for. myself a uh, assam tin from harney and sons guys however i have to be honest it's not as strong as a as I would imagine. I used to work on a coffee bean and tea leaf uh, where we specialize in tea and coffee. So I know a lot about the process on how tea is made and pretty much how, you know, the Camilla Sinensis leaves are cut. And um, 
So our Assam tea um, that we carry in my old store, in my old job, was very strong. We used to make it into an iced tea. Um, and Harney and Sons Assam tea was not a good one for me. I didn't like it. So I'm curious to see if this one is going to be good or not. I'm not going to open it because I already know what Assam smells like. It's just, they all kind of smell the same. Um, I'm just curious to see if I'm gonna like this Assam or not because I'm very picky with Assams. I want them to be very malty and strong in flavor so that I could make them into like a, you know, a iced tea. Um, I don't like drinking this tea as a black tea hot. I like to drink it as a black iced tea, you know? Um, so I'm very excited to try this out. Um, follow me on Instagram because I do post a lot of uh, stories um, and I do a lot of updates on my teas. So if you guys haven't, follow me on Instagram. I'll leave the little picture here. But um, let's move along. So there's there's two teas left, and the next one here is the vitamin berry tea. This is a 100% organic mix of elderberries, blueberries, and garnesia flowers. Okay, so this one here, um, it says that it's GMO free. Okay, that's really nice. So I've heard a lot about blueberries and elderberries. I've never really had them before. I know that there's uh, they're popping out in YouTube, and a lot of stores are carrying them. Um, elderberries I've never had so I'm excited to try this. I'm thinking it's gonna be like a tart um, You know kind of bitter, but not bitter kind of tart and sour smelling Because honestly, it's just a mix of elderberries blueberries and Garcinia fruit. I don't know what Garcinia fruit is. I don't know what elderberries are, but I know what blueberry is <laughs> So right imagine if I didn't but let's go ahead and give this a sniff before smelling it I, I'm, I'm expecting something tart Something, you know, berry-like, maybe for like an iced tea. Oh, okay. So, when I smell of it, I think of dark blue, like dark blue. It definitely has like a raisin smell, like, like maybe like a, yeah, it smells like a raisin. Like very sweet pickled raisins. Oh, okay. It smells really nice, though. I like it. If you open a box of raisins, it kind of smells like raisins. It makes me think that Garcinia fruit are raisins, like the fancy term for the scientific name. I'm not sure. I mean, it kind of looks like raisins in here. <laughs> I don't know why I'm thinking raisins are dark blue, but um, I'm excited to try this out. And I like that it is GMO free. So let's continue with the very last tea. All right, guys. And the last tea we have here is the Pinhead or Pinehead. I think it's Pinhead. Uh, gunpowder or gunpowder. Wow, I butchered that name. So this one here is a strong traditional hand rolled green tea leaves It's geared towards health your health your healthy wellness being This one here is one tablespoon per eight ounces steeping time three to four minutes. It's a green tea um, Strong traditional rolled green tea um, When I think of rolled green tea, I think of jasmine dragon jasmine dragon tends to be like, you know the Pearls tend to be hand rolled and it gives you a very strong green tea. So I do like my green teas to be on the mild side. I really don't like green teas that have like a very tangy taste to them because for me, green tea is very soothing and relaxing and mellowing. So let me try this one out. A lot of the teas that I have from um, Sense Tea are like herbal. So one of my favorite, if not my favorite tea from Sense Tea, I want to mention in this video, is the uh, Hawaiian fruit. I make that into a cold brew, and then I um, add a little bit of sugar the following day. Like, I melt a little bit of sugar with hot water, and then I make that into an iced tea, and my whole entire family loves that tea. It's so good. It's like a very tropical red hibiscus -y. Oh, so good. Let me just move along. Oh, okay. Yeah. This just has a very traditional green tea fragrance. Doesn't have any special ingredients like sugar notes or any like um, artificial sweeteners. It's just a straight up green tea. I like their Jasmine Dragon. I got a Jasmine Dragon in my previous box. I think my first ever subscription box from them in December. And I really like it. Um, it was a very mild green tea but the taste of Jasmine flowers. Um, however, a lot, a lot of Jasmine teas are very floral and I don't like that in my mouth it kind of like like if I'm drinking perfume that's what happens with jasmine dragons but in that jasmine dragon from them was very weak in the best positive way um in the sense that it wasn't very fragrant I love that so it was very relaxing and I drink it from time to time in the mornings so this one pinhead gunpowder hmm, I've heard a lot of 
pinhead gunpowder in different websites when I look at their teas a lot of them have this type of name for their tea so I'm not sure if this is a, a something that's popping out now I haven't seen it before but I've seen it lately so I'm gonna do a little bit more research of what this really is but anyways guys this was the box for Sense tea I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, I recommend you guys to go ahead and check them out I'll leave their information on the description box their Instagram their website um, you guys can send them an email they had a little Yoda on their emails I received a, an email with a Yoda um, if they, if, should they keep it on their emails or should they not I told them that they should keep it Grogu baby Grogu baby Yoda anyways uh, back to Sense tea the um, amazing tea brand I highly recommend you guys try their uh, their box it's really nice it's a really nice box and I feel like anyone should try it out it's not a uh, fancy tea or anything of that nature it's just very good tea good for your wellness being you know what I mean and I recommend you guys check it out um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know in the comments below what you guys like about this video if you guys have any other tea recommendations that I haven't mentioned in this video or if you guys have any tea recommendations based on what I've mentioned in this video that you think I'm gonna like make sure to drop a comment down below and if you have your own channel with teas make sure to leave me um, a comment down below with your tea channel so that I could you know subscribe to your channel and we can grow this family together all right guys so thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a comment rate subscribe and share with your friends your family your neighbor all right guys so yeah thank you so much for watching once again <laughs> um don't forget to drink water water your plants and drink tea